back to my channel. I'm sure you guys know Miss Lally. This is Miss Lally. Hi, she everyone. is a what would you say? Like a beauty, fashion, and lifestyle YouTuber. Not necessarily fashion, but I think beauty. And but lifestyle I think you have like a really good fashion sense, Thanks, so friend. people see you as like a fashion true, queen. True. You know. So yeah, this is Miss Lally, and we are finally, finally, finally collabing on a After video a together. After a lot of planning. Do you guys like my new living room? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're at Miss Lally's house. And if you guys really like these videos, let us know in the comments. And then the next collab will film at my house. So today we are going to be reacting to our first YouTube video that we ever posted. Like, so embarrassing. I don't know. I think so mine nervous. is way more embarrassing than yours. We'll see. We'll because see. <laughs> okay, well, we're just a year apart. So you started two years ago yeah. or like posted. The first Whenever people video. ask me, when did you start? I say like a year and a half ago because that's when I like consistently started posting. Mm. But I posted my first ever YouTube video three years ago and I was still in university. I think I actually started or like posted my first YouTube video, YouTube video when I was in my final year of university. Mm. So I was still like, I had no idea what I was doing. But it looks like you were pretty consistent. Yes. Um, I think like, um, for in three years, I posted about 300 videos on average. Mm. I think like 280. So I think I, post, I definitely posted a lot of videos. But the first few not that great but I personally whenever I go to like my favorite youtubers channels and I see like oh my word they have amazing content I like to scroll down mm, and see, see where they start what the first video mm. looked like that they ever posted and they all looked amazing and I'm like but how they yeah. I think some people delete videos, they do but it's nice to keep your videos there so yes. people can see your progress and how you started yeah. and what you were using and so. that's exactly why I'm not taking these videos down of course I'm not proud of them <laughs> but it's part of my journey and like where I come from and at least I know where I'm coming from so I know where I'm heading towards you know so um yeah I'm actually I'm glad that I never removed it but I am like a little bit sad that I never did like a YouTube channel intro because I didn't either yeah and don't I'm you feel not... like you wish that you did not really because at the end of the day, I did make videos where people were sort of getting to know me. I, I did a get to know me tag. I did a Q&A. Mm. So, maybe I'm Oh my word, we should actually one. watch those videos as well. As well. So, we're going to watch our first ever video. And since Miss Lally is the guest today, she is going to start. So, go play your video. Under pressure. Play it from the beginning. Under pressure. Here's we need the to ad. Here's the ad. Here we go. Ooh, you can see fancy, when someone fancy. uses I'm really guys, I am back with a review like I promised. You look so oh, different. Oh, so Three tiny. I prefer you like this though. My nails. <laughs> oh my word. You have like just one pink so nail. Let's just say that I'm so excited to be making this video because I am obsessed. With this foundation, and I never those the eye rolls. I really struggled Nothing changed. Always like been there, <laughs> and they are here to I stay. <laughs> this is really skin. So this foundation is amazing because what was this extension? No, it was a wig, but okay, so I'm just I don't know. The, I, I think the closure wasn't great because you can't even see the lace or anything. Well, I don't know anything about wigs, so it looks good to me. Okay, first thing. Was this at this your parents' house? Is a very it was at my cousin's house. Okay. Because so when I first moved to Joburg, I lived with my cousin time, for, I think, three months before it I moved to my own because I was trying to come to this I feel like your first video is so good. Okay, let's look at mine. I feel like mine is so embarrassing. You guys, sorry, we have some construction. <laughs> Wasn't that loud earlier? Sorry! Okay, so 
we finally got the guys to quiet down a little bit and that's like one of the things that I think I struggle the most is not my lighting not my camera not something to do with me but like my surroundings and mm. noise I think that's like the one thing that pisses me off me too like really me too so I think if you wanting to start a YouTube channel move into a place <laughs> with absolutely no sound <laughs> Move to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Move to a retirement unit because you'll get the best videos there. But yeah, I've um, I've had one of my friends ask me if he can soundproof my beauty room. And I was like, have you ever seen how ugly soundproofing yeah. is? It's literally so ugly. What would mm -hmm. I use for a background? But anyway, so let's watch my first video. You guys, it's so embarrassing. Oh, I don't even... <laughs> When I started, when I decided I wanted to start YouTube, mm -hmm. I had no idea where to begin. And I was just like, you know what, if I'm not going to start now, I'm never going to yeah, start. That's true. And I get so many questions from like people that watch my videos and people that are like, got my channel. Yeah, like what do I need and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have anything. I basically used my beat up, lap, beat up old laptop that I had from school. And I filmed on my webcam. I didn't talk, I didn't say anything. And funny thing about this video, like this music. <laughs> so at first I uploaded my video with the most beautiful Landon Austin song. And then after like 24 hours of the video being live, I got an email from YouTube saying, you have a copyright flag, so mm -hmm. if you guys don't know, you can't use like Nicki Minaj yeah, or Cardi B, like music. you can't use like popular music because it's copyrighted. Mm -hmm. And even though now YouTube has like evolved a little bit, you can use it. But really? Yes. So the owner of the music um, gets like a cut of your monetization. So. Basically, that's how it works. So the creator that came up with the music, mm -hmm. like, either gets a cut or like your full income for that video. So no it's not like YouTube doesn't allow it anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you if you get like a copyright flag, it gives you options. Do you want to take it down? Do you want to demonetize it, or do you want to give um, your earnings to the creator? So I just chose to take the music down, and my video didn't have music for like the first bit, and then I like browsed on the YouTube creator page and I saw that you can actually upload mm. music from YouTube on there and you can like edit filters, you can edit brightness and everything on YouTube as soon and as you, you upload it. you can actually edit on there as well. You can actually edit. So you can upload a raw video to YouTube oh, wow. and you can put filters on it, you can like blur people's faces. I'll show you how to do that. That's it's really so cool. Because um, in my most recent vlog, when we came back from Cape Town, um, I did a WhatsApp video call with Brain and his number was on the screen. So I had to like blur it. Mm. So yeah, that's basically... Yeah, that's basically my video. I don't think we can watch anymore. But yeah, let's watch. Do you want to watch a different one? What is this? Get to know me hey guys, tag. welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? So I just finished filming a makeup tutorial with this look um, and I just I really like this like makeup look. Yeah, I love video too. and I know a lot of you guys requested the get to know me tag. I feel like so you, you look very young with that color here. The best time to do it. Like the, the copper so color. Yeah, I have the questions on my phone. My name is Michali. My nickname is <laughs> My name is Mishisto, <laughs> Mishla, Mix. Yeah, I have a lot of nicknames. It's your full name. But my Michelle. favorite one is Sally, and that's what my family members call me. Sally. Okay, my birthday is on the 29th of November. Um, Place of birth is Durban KZN. Oh, I didn't so, know that. I'm a Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius. Occupation I'm a student, and I'm sort of a business owner. 
Do you sell freelance makeup? Um, hair color. My hair is dark brown. My hair is dark brown. Very dark brown. Hair length. I did cut my hair, so my hair is like that short, but it was longer before. Best feature. I would say my best feature is definitely my, my eyes. And your eyes. I don't know. Some people say it's my eyes. <laughs> I didn't even watch this video. <laughs> Piercings. Yes. I'm actually wearing one of them today that I've never worn in any of my videos. I have six piercings, first and second hole, so two, two. <laughs> my trachis is pierced and go. Um, Good time. Show me. Yeah, I don't know my. Oh, but you don't have anything. Okay. Yeah. The the hole. But I don't regret okay, let's watch mine. Piercing. I got it when I was like six. So I, I did one get to know me tag, and I've never re. I've also never. I've redone never it. redone it. Maybe that's. Would you ever redo it? Yeah, I think. I think it's like a nice idea for mm. like a collab. So we want to know from you guys. Let us know in the comments if you have any ideas for us to do another collab. Like video ideas. We mm. want to do like a beauty one, definitely. So like a makeup Get challenge us, or like challenge. a blindfolded makeup challenge mm. or something like that. Just or no mirror makeup challenge. I think that's a good oh one. Oh my word. That'll be so much fun though. <laughs> yeah. So let us know in the comments any 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 suggestions or ideas that you have because i don't know i'm i'm like scared to choose myself because if i let her choose she chooses something crazy like a spicy noodle challenge that we're gonna do next i'm so and excited I'm gonna die, like, you guys need to watch that video it's gonna be hilarious oh i'll link that video down below by the way if you want to go watch that okay my get to money tag Hey everyone, welcome Look back to my eyes. channel. No. In today's video, I won't be doing a makeup tutorial. I never do this will just be a short you. video no. about me no. thanking you guys, thanking for your I'm support. So I'm so happy! Honestly and truly, I'm so nice. grateful oh. for my tiny success. Okay, so I think I, I did, did like a thousand introduction K, yeah. to mm. my YouTube channel. Um, I kind of just posted I'm my first so video and then videos just yeah, followed after that, after I got some interest way. and people said that they like liked it, so I decided yeah, to like so I, so, um, I think I was like, I wasn't chubby as a kid, I was never overweight, I've never yeah. been overweight, but I think like, I carried my youth in my face. Because he's not that big, you make yourself sound like you're so like, huge. I feel like so, I had like a, a chubby a face. Questions. But I guess I'm matured um, in the face. Yeah, and I, I think as the the years pass, I think I also learned how to do makeup for my face. And like your my name? face shape and I, my eyes. I don't and, have a middle name, I, I only have one name. Which I've is never Jessica. seen you do liner on your lower lash line. She yeah, like that. I hate that. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all. My eyes look um, so close together. My favorite subject in high school. I feel like it's I would have to be biology. Would you ever form a smoky eyes story? I was super passionate. I would, but I wouldn't like. Tight line like I did. I was just so fascinated about how it works and how it functions. So yeah, that would be my But you've always been good with um, backgrounds and the setups in your video. I think it's stunning. Drink. Thanks, friend. I think um I'm like aesthetically what is the word? You have an eye. Yeah, I've got, I've got like an aesthetic eye. And I think you also think. pay attention to detail. Yeah, very like mm. Before we sat down, Miss Lally had her water bottle on the floor, and I was like, friend, please move your water bottle. <laughs> and then she was like pulling my coffee table, she's like, it's not really in the middle. Okay. Okay, well, I, I don't think I want to watch any of my other videos, but I think I am um, really happy that I never took down, like, my first yeah. videos, because like, it kind of shows your journey and, mm -hmm. like, where you come from and I feel like if you know where you come from you know where you're going and you know that mm -hmm. you've grown a lot and you've grown as a person in you know your ability to do makeup or ability to create videos and ability to like do your lighting and whatever but I think like my number one um tip for starting a YouTube channel is just starting like you don't you don't need much if you've got internet you have a smartphone and you have good lighting. That's yeah. very important. I think that's like the, the most important yeah. thing for me. Is to have lighting. Be it artificial lighting or natural lighting. Lighting is yeah. very important. I mean, your first video, you didn't even film with the, with the light. Yeah, I use natural light. And it light. looks perfect. Thank you. I think my video would have been a lot better if I just didn't film it on my webcam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because your lighting also isn't yeah. that bad. Yeah, well, I think I've grown a lot. 
I've I've did a lot of videos since I started. Are you happy with the way your channel like evolved? I feel like um. I feel like when I first started, I did just makeup. And I feel like now I do vlogs and I do like, it's more like a pinch of me, like everything I love and the mm. things that I love to do and the people that I love and like incorporating that into my channel and like showing people your life essentially. Mm. Mm. And I think I'm really happy with how it has evolved. If I could change anything about my channel, I think at the moment I would do more like decor stuff, like home decor and just anything like aesthetically pleasing. Mm. I don't know. What would you do? What would I do differently? I don't know what I'd do differently. Like, is there like videos that you would want to do? I think travel videos. Yeah, I mean, don't if you? I had the funds to travel then, I would have traveled more. But I obviously yeah. Didn't. But like now, I'm talking about oh, now. Oh, definitely. Like if yeah. you if you My could travel add anything vlogs to your channel, very very well so if i could do a little bit more lifestyle content but yes. obviously not neglect my beauty content yes. i would definitely do that you're one of the best girl thanks friend. i think so. i just wish i was a little bit consistent but this year i'm working on that yes. last year i was slacking i'm consistency oh yeah consistency. that that is the the other tip that i and my friend here Be can give you is give like consistency because mm. if i follow people on youtube and i see like this girl posted a video two months ago i'm like do you unsubscribe? No, I won't necessarily subscribe mm. if I like, maybe if I come across one of her videos that she posted a year ago and it was an amazing video and I go to her channel mm. and I see like she posted four months ago, I'd be like, why do you want to be subscribed to someone that does not post? And you also lose interest in people's content if you yeah. never see them. So I don't know. Yeah. But I think when I first started, I was very consistent and then... Life happened. Life happens, mm. and then I took a break for like four months, and then I came back, but I wasn't consistent. Mm. But this year, I'm trying to be consistent. And I think, like, I think it looks easy to have a YouTube channel, but it's really hard if you get like negative comments and mm. if people are mean to you because it is a, it is a public platform, mm. and I think it's it's very easy to fall into being a victim of like mean comments and people saying mean things to your face basically behind a screen and it's just sometimes it's really hard because you spend a whole day filming mm. and you work so hard on the editing and then someone tells you that you didn't do a good job and I feel like it doesn't matter what you say it's always like how you like mm. form your sentences like because I I love certain people on YouTube and their content is not the best or not my favorite, but I don't go out and comment and say like, oh, your content is shit or you mm. could have done a better job. Mm. Like you can tell them in a way that is Respectful. constructive, but like breaking someone down on it's something that the they way. really love, that's really hard. So if you're not like ready for that, I don't think YouTube is the yeah. place for you. But if I can, you know, if you ask me if I recommend YouTube or not, definitely. I think... It has changed, like, you guys, you meet people on YouTube without ever, you, like, get to know people on YouTube without seeing them in person. Without, yeah, you get to travel the world without leaving home. You literally... What do you mean, friend? Like, watching you vlogs? Can, you can travel what the world. You? you can, like, watch other people travel without leaving but the I country. I myself. I know, but <laughs> it's, you can, like, you can literally... Educate yourself without yeah, you applying can for a course anything or anything. On so honestly, YouTube is anything. a lot of world university um, makeup artists. Ones that are doing very well for themselves currently mm -hmm. learned off YouTube of uh, makeup tutorials how to do makeup. So you can honestly learn yeah. anything on YouTube. So if you want to join the platform, I really think that you should. I also think so, and if you have the time, yeah. Also, <laughs> so you don't. I think the the time, the passion, yes, the consistency. The passion. If you don't love it, people are gonna see it. If you're doing it for money, don't yeah. don't do it because you're honestly <laughs> not gonna make money as soon as you upload a video. I mean, maybe some people are lucky, yeah, and they get contacted by a brand after they first upload. But I think that's I another think question that, that everyone easy. wants to know, like. Brands, how does that happen? And I get so many questions on Instagram daily asking, how do I get free makeup? And how do I work with brands? And things like that. <laughs> and who do I email? And mm. who, like, guys, I never wanted 
free makeup from brands. That was never my intention. Yeah. I made YouTube videos when I started because I wanted to be a YouTuber. And I saw the YouTubers that I watched and I was like, I want to be that. I didn't mm. think of money. I didn't Same. think of free makeup. I didn't even Gym. think you could get free makeup. I didn't even think the South African market was open to that. Because yeah. when, I got, when I first got contacted by the first brand I worked with, which was L'Oreal, I was so shocked. I was like... Yeah. The first gosh. brand that ever contacted me to send me free makeup was so Essence. Excited. And you guys, we are Essence Team Flawless. So... You've got to start it's somewhere. Just like, honestly, I don't know. I just never... Trust the person. I just never thought that... Ooh, this thing has been undone the whole damn time. Embarrassing. I just <laughs> never... Um, I just never thought that this is even possible. So, if you are in it for money, if you are in it for free makeup, free trips... <laughs> it takes time so you might lose patience I think the yeah. most important thing is to have a passion for it first mm -hmm. because that's what will keep you going even through the hard times and I think that just goes with any business really any business venture beauty if you want to go into property logistics everything just takes time and you just mm -hmm. need to be patient and obviously and a lot have of a passion hard work, for it um, a lot of hard work goes into it of course yeah and I think I think it's easy to get like sidetracked and lose focus because mm -hmm. you see everyone else doing so well and Michali recently shared something on her Instagram saying that you won't even know that someone else's grass is greener if you just keep watering your own like don't focus on other people just like focus on your own passion and if you are a good person and mm -hmm. if you are serving the world and serving your purpose in life because if something's meant for you, I promise you, you will know. 100%. You will know. And I don't know, I, I wouldn't want any other career than doing like beauty, fashion and lifestyle videos mm -hmm. for a life because, or for a living, because I love creating. I don't know about you, but I just, it's just like... No, I get you. I just, I don't know. But yeah, I think that is... It for this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it Thank remember to go to mithali's instagram facebook youtube i will have all of her links down below and then go watch our spicy noodle challenge i will subscribe. have the link down below subscribe like, like comment <laughs> suggest future collabs please yes <laughs> and then we will see you guys in mithali's video and then in the next collab Bye guys. Bye.